Hello Libra! Welcome to the channel. My name is Don. I hope you enjoyed this speed shuffle. We're going to jump right into this beautiful love reading that I see in front of me. So your overall energy and message from Spirit is feeling the world that right now, Libra, you are very aware of everything. It's like the most subtle, nuanced emotions and communications are coming through to you at this time you're very much in your feels we have a grand symphony so you are creating a new love relationship look at that we even have a ring there that can really go the distance and manifest what you want with this beautiful empress card as your outcome we look at the energy of broken open this relationship is going to open you in ways libra that maybe you've never experienced before really just opening the beautiful stars feeling really safe to do so in the recent past libra we have the energy overall of you feeling as though you're at a crossroads. You know, you want to leave the past behind. You want adventures, surfboards, world travel, but you, the world is your oyster and you are about to step into love in a big way. We see the original uh, energy in this reading in the recent past is taking the leap of faith, jumping into a new relationship. The energy, and we're going to clarify everything, the energy in terms of the current energy between you and a lover is the devil card. The devil card is oh, so attractive, right? This beautiful, beautiful devil with the hair and the sparkles and the beautiful green eyes. What a build, but you're very physically attracted to one another. You're going through a very typical period of time in which you feel obsessed with one another. Uh, the devil card can be codependency, so we always have to be careful when we see it that you're not making that person, um, you're not becoming codependent. Co what is codependency? Codependency is when you don't think you can live with, without somebody, when you feel so dependent and so obsessed with wanting to control things. When we get the Capricorn card, we get, no, I don't want any of that shit. I don't want any of that. Okay. Hello, beautiful Libras. Welcome to the channel. Let's jump into this delicious love reading that we have in front of us. Lee, we see the overall energy is feeling the world. You're very much in your feels right now, very sensitive, very emotional. We also get Grand Symphony. You are on a grand adventure. Symphonies are about creating the music of your life and you are doing so. You are opening up with this broken open card in ways that you perhaps have never experienced before in love. We have the overall energy for you is you want to make a decision. You're at a crossroads. You want to move forward into this beautiful relationship we see in front of us. We definitely get you wanting to travel the world and having a partner with whom you can have adventures, you know, surfboards, you know, road trips and world travel. So you definitely may meet somebody even abroad or when you are traveling. We look at the energy of this Fool card jumping in, taking the leap of faith, looking at the signs that the universe is giving you. The energy, and we're going to clarify all of this. We're also going, I do a segment halfway through that tells you what your person likes best about you. So look for the timestamp below if you'd like to jump there. But we have the devil energy, which is the energy of being obsessed with one another. This can become unhealthy, but in a new relationship, it's pretty typical that the chemistry is running hot, 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 baby. Look at that devil card. Very tempting. The way your person views you, their happy space, you bring them joy, happiness. Every day with you feels abundant. It's like a day in the sun, a day at the beach, a day on vacation. When they think of who you are, how they view you, they view you as someone of immense value, the ace of coins, someone with whom they can build a real love and a real relationship with. The ace of coins can represent ultimately the engagement ring. They see you as the one. 
We get the Ten of Coins in their heart space. They feel as though they can build a legacy with you. This energy is all about the loyalty between two people with the dog. We see two people communicating, children, a beautiful home, two people who are working towards a goal. Your person wants that with you. We have the Magician card, the magic, the chemistry, the beauty, the communication. This is Virgo and Gemini energy, both ruled by Mercury. So Libra, you are in, you have your person views the way forward as really acting on the magic, um, really manifesting each other. Both of you, the hidden energy right now is that both of you are undecided about the final uh, outcome of the relationship, but it's a new relationship, so that's really normal. We like to see that. We don't want to um, fall in love too hard and too fast because typically it's more codependence than love. So spirit is saying, slow down, you move fast, you know, you want to make the morning last, as the Beatles would say, but the Four of Cups is speaking to the fact that if you put too much expectation or energy on expecting someone else to make you happy, that there that it will become a self-fulfilling prophecy, that it's very important not to be codependent here. It's one thing to enjoy the throes, the thrill, the magnificence of a new connection, but it's very important not to make someone your whole world or make them responsible for your emotions. What we see here is the outcome is a beautiful Venus card. Libra, this is your, this is ruled, this is Taurus rulership, but Taurus and Venus share Taurus and Libra share the rulership of Venus in your signs. So we see manifestation of a beautiful, nurturing, kind love affair that could go the distance, that can transcend time, destiny. You're being open and you're feeling opened up to a love that you've never experienced before. So let's look and see what the clarifiers are. The th Two of Wands card, what is this decision about? Libra, 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 you have, this is a delicious reading for you. What does Libra need to know about making a decision at this time? Right now we see the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is keep it light, keep it fun, keep it moving, keep it dynamic. Enjoy the energy between the two of you. Don't make commitments at this time. It's not time. You're at a crossroads. It's not time to make a decision quite yet. As you go through the month and the process, temperance card, stay calm, cool, and collected. For some of you, this may be a return of an old person, quote unquote, not old person, and a former relationship. So we see that, you know, with all the excitement, both of you have the capacity to maintain your cool. And Libra, here you are in your own reading, the justice card, staying balanced. Both of you desire the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So let's see what brought about this new relationship. What brought this in? The Fool card is Aquarius energy. We love that energy. It's fun. It's exciting. It's interesting. We see the Princess of Pentacles. Somebody is making an offer. Both of you, since that's mutual energy in the recent past, both of you have stepped into the agreement of having a relationship. So the devil card can be toxic. It can be my way or the highway. It can be a, a struggle or a tug of war for who's in control or who's the boss in the relationship. Uh, it can be just plain old sexual obsession, but when we do see that puppet card there, it is sort of a, a warning shot, definitely, about the relationship. The Emperor card. The Emperor is like the energy that both of you are bringing in is a desire to be the boss the boss in the relationship. So it does speak to the fact that that could bring about some power struggles and or the emperor with the empress means that you could be a perfect match and sort of just really create a world and a life um, for yourselves that is quite exceptional. So I love that emperor card because the emperor has mastery over the devil. So that's outstanding, outstanding. 
uh, we see somebody who both of you have your wits about you and so both of you may like to be in control but the emperor knows how to rule in a very um, tactical way a very intelligent way why else is the emperor here the five of wands oh i like it both of you are absolutely refusing to be part of a competitive uh, sort of ring of fire so both of you are very much in this energy that says date me exclusively or do not date me at all so i like that actually that is probably the best outcome card i've ever had uh, as a clarifier on the on the uh, devil card so very important you're both coming in with a lot of authority to the relationship that is very cool what do we have here? The sun card is how your person sees you as the happiest that they've ever been in their life. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and the Leo is the energy of the sun card. Moving in slowly, your person sees the path forward as being very practical, very day at a time, step at a time. Let's do this right. Let's lay down the foundation of this relationship. So I like it, Libra very good energy for you why is the ace of coins here why do they see you as being the one they see you as being the one because they see you as a person who is very uh, powerful in your own right that you're able to stand up to life you're able to stand up to situations they hold you in very high regard Libra they see you as powerful that seven of wands energy is the energy of um, Leo you know we have that energy and it's powerful because your person is not going to be tamed by anyone your person is very much their own person they believe what they believe and they're willing to stand up for what they want in relationship and in life and it's what makes them you know successful so let's look and see what else we have here what else is it that your person feels in their heart space what is it that your person feels in their heart space so we have virgo energy here and we have defeat okay so your person is has been through the mill it looks like in the past they have had a major defeat in love that's haunting the relationship a little bit so let's see what else here why do they feel this worried feeling you know your person has had has been in a situation where they've had people play mind games with them and they're wounded you know but we're all kind of wounded warriors at a certain point but we have the princess of cups clarifying your person feels very loving very affectionate very uh safe with you in many regards so even though they've had wounds in the past they really are very trusting towards you libra why do we see this manifestation of magician Ooh, they have chosen you whether they have told you or not the three of wands means that your person deems you as the one so you go from the two to the three so going from being at a crossroads libra to the point where your person feels very much that you are you embody everything that they want in their future if you will have them that is what they're doing the hidden energy between the two of you is not to make a decision right away we see the seven of uh, pentacles you're going to wait and see you know that's a wait and see attitude you're going to take it a day at a time the high priestess the two of you both feel this way and yet you've not spoken about it with the other person so why else what is this hidden energy give us more information spirit we have the ace of coins look at that so both of you we had the ace of coins i think i can't remember where it was but at any rate we have had this energy is very powerful because once again it speaks to the fact that both of you see one another as a potential long-term commitment uh, person in their life the ace of coins is the engagement ring it's the offer uh, both of you feel as though you could be the one the ten excuse me the eight of swords is clarifying the four of cups spirit is advising that you limit your remembrances of the past you know really limit and try to hold back from 
um, expressing negativity or boredom. Spirit is saying that this relationship needs to be, you need to be very well grounded in your own life. You need to be, you know, you need to not look to another person to create happiness. You do that for yourself. So spirit is just warning that. And I, I feel it's very much because of the devil energy. The devil energy is that, that codependency, which can be the obsession with the other person. Tell us more about what spirit suggests. Take the leap of faith, the leap of faith. Just be brave, be bold. Take that leap of faith into the future, Libra, is what spirit is recommending. We have this beautiful Six of Cups energy with the Empress. Your outcome in this reading is really experiencing this beautiful love relationship. The Emperor is here. The Empress is here. Six of Cups. This could be someone returning from the past. For a few of you, it will be. Let me know in the comments below. But for many of you, this is a person who you, with whom you share a soulmate connection, somebody who reminds you of the very best love that you've ever had in your life. Oftentimes it comes from a parent or other relationships, but your person holds you in high esteem. Um, both of you feel this tremendous desire to build a life together with that Empress card. The embodiment of love itself is the planet Venus. Okay, so let's look right now uh, for you. Libra and see what your person likes best about you. What are the energies that Libra brings to the table that your person enjoys most about you? All right, so let's look and see what we have here. All right, bottom of the deck. Ooh, two, uh, ten of pentacles. We had that. The ten of pentacles was right here. Uh, if we look under here, we see the Ten of Coins. This person likes best about you in their heart space that they can build a future with you that will last for your lifetime. So that's exquisite energy doubled. So your person really does see you as they have their eye on the prize of a relationship with you as being someone with whom they could have great stability. Two of Wands, they really like the fact that you consider things very carefully. You take your time to make decisions. The Two of Wands is repeating itself here. Your person would feel very much that if you didn't think carefully about your decisions, that they would they just find it admirable that you always take time to make a grounded decision. Four of Swords energy, what they also like best about you is that you have done a lot of healing work because the Devil card is underneath there. So they find it really wonderful that you have a lot of self-awareness, that there are times when you know, you're, you know what to avoid in the pitfalls of love and life. The Seven of Pentacles, they love the fact that you make an investment, that you invest fully. We see this woman here, she's baking lots of loaves of bread. A bun in the oven it comes to mind here. So they feel as though you're very fruitful, that you're a hard worker in relationship. They feel that they can count on you with that Taurus energy. We have the energy of the Nine of Wands. They so respect the fact that you are a warrior. Your person sees you as, as really having fire in your belly. They see you as a person who strives, who fights to the finish, who's out for the win in life, and they regard you in a very respectful manner. When we look at the energy of the Queen of Swords, there you are, Libra. They see exactly the truth of who you are. They see you as a person who has been through trials, tribulations, that you've had to make some very, very tough decisions, Libra, that you've done it beautifully, that you've put your heart you know, away and you've you've come through tough periods of your life in which you had to use your intellect and desire to know the truth to really be successful. So they're very impressed with that. They're very impressed with your strategic ability to make sound decisions based on reality and truth. What else do they like about you? Well, the Three of Swords. Now, I know this seems very, very much um, antithetical, right? Why would your person like the fact that you've experienced heartbreak? And the reason is, is not because they wanted to ever see you wounded, but because they think that the Three of Swords, the heartbreak, 
caused you to do a lot of inner work. They hold you in high regard. They feel that you're a person who's very seasoned in life. They feel that they can trust the decisions because you have experienced heartache in the past. You've transcended. You've become the Queen of Swords. So the Three of Swords, Four of Swords, the Queen of Swords, they see you as a very successful person who's been through the normal you know, ups and downs of life and then some, and you have come out a winner with this Ace of Wands. They love the Chariot card. They love that you know what direction you're going in. They love the concept that you accept them fully. And they really like the, con the idea of you saying to them, Honey, I'm home. I'm on my way home. Should I pick up milk at the grocery store? So your person really adores the fact that you want to have a life with them, a domestic life, a life in which the two of you take charge and move forward into the future. The Seven of Wands, once again, they do see you as a person who holds your ground. Libra, they see you as a person who does not compromise their value system, and they adore that about you. Cindy, you love from Chicago, send some back and tell me if you like this segment about what they like about you. If it's helpful, let me know in the comments below. Hope to see you in another video again soon, Libra. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. Sending you love from Chicago.